The Blind View Studio gets a visitor and some merch. What is up, Blind Viewers? How's everybody doing today? All right, first, we're going to start off with a quick announcement. Announcement, announcement. Thirsty Thursday, that's right, today, Thirsty Thursday, will be delayed about a half hour. So instead of 7, it will be 7.30. My uh, grandson, it's his last little soccer gig today, and I'm not going to miss it, but I will be home a little bit late, and I won't be in time for 7, so we're going to shoot for 7.30. All right, next we have Neil. No legs, no problem TV. That's right. He sent Blind Views a little gift. It is an awesome shirt. Awesome. Very awesome. That's right. Get off the couch. No legs, no problem. <laughs> it's a great shirt. Thank you so much, Neil. I love it. I am going to be wearing this one. Awesome shirt. They're available. So if you want one, and they are awesome shirts, man. But uh, go over to Neil's channel and check it out where you can get yourself one of these. He also does have the book. I have a copy of his book. Very interesting read. So go on over there to Neil and see what kind of goodies he got, what kind of merch. All right. Speaking of merch. Creeper, the creeper. That's right. Clear to the creeper. He got some t-shirts made. He actually has a little video he plays in his, in his video about, uh, him actually making, I guess it was like a silk screen thing, but he was squeezing out, printing out the first of his shirts. And, uh, he had a, I think it was a 900 subscriber giveaway. So he had a little giveaway for his free shirt and the winner was Roland or the balls. Look at that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But yeah, the uh, shirts are available. So you can go over to Creeper too and see how you can pick up a Creeper shirt. All right, as I said, yes, there was a visitor to the Blind View studio. That's right. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, the other day, you might have noticed one week ago that uh, Lola was here. Yes, we had a little uh, walk around, a little hangout. We spent the day together, and uh, she uh, was a guest at our Thirsty Thursday that we had on location at the Unibase's house. <laughs> we had a blast. So, yeah, we spent the entire day with Lola. Awesome, awesome lady. We had so much fun. She is so cool. I am so happy that I had this chance to meet her and hang out with her. And I feel uh, privileged that she took time out of her extensive little run around vacay to come and spend some time with good old blind views and the Unibasis. Uh, yeah, she got up early the next morning and she head out. She left Pennsylvania. She went down to New Jersey where she met up with Miss Glenda. That's right. Glenda Selly. And Marilyn Monroe, you might notice her from the chats in the live stream of a couple of different people and uh, leaving comments and whatnot. But yes, yeah, she uh, met up with Glenda and Lola and the three ladies seemed like they had a good time. You can go over to Miss Glenda Selly's channel and you can watch that video. All right. Now, Aaron, life with Aaron. Uh, he made a, two videos actually, but yeah, I watched uh, some of the one and then I watched the, the other one where he spoke about the meetup. Um, K-Dog, Dumonica Bess, and Aaron, they all got together and they took a little road trip and they went to see the carpet bagger do one of his little wrestling things. Uh, Aaron did a very good job on uh, nice video, but, uh, you have to go over to Aaron's and watch the video to understand what I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to go into it all. If you want to know, go over and watch Aaron's video. But the basics is that uh, those three went and 
met up with the carpet back now i don't know if you know or not but now there's been some bad blood some back and forth and even aaron says there was apologies due on both sides but anyway the fact of the matter is that you know this internet stuff this youtube stuff all this i don't know i call it you know the the third grade drama and this and that and you know he's touching me no you said it first no you did you know all that crap but the whole thing is to me is what it came down to was when they were face to face hey buddy how you doing hey thanks for coming hey let's squash this okay very good hey hey yeah hugs and kisses and kumbaya all around but when you're in the privacy of your own little home and you're sitting there and you're clickety clacking on the keys you puff up your chest and you chirp 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 and you say all kinds of shit and you talk all big but when you get face to face hey buddy hey how's it going see why why but i know why because that's what everybody likes to watch if you say hey i had a little meet up we had a great time we walked around and we saw this and we saw that boo hiss boo but if you're fighting and you're screaming and you're hollering each other and you're calling each other names and you're doxing everybody and you're doing all that fun stuff yay let's go watch that so i i kind of get it but i don't know this whole thing let's let me puff up my chest and talk big and bad and be all brave while I'm hiding behind my keyboard. Oh, shit, he's right there in my face. Hey, buddy! Yeah. Forget all this phony crap down here at the bottom of YouTube. It's stupid and it's silly. With all that being said, I will say they kind of did the, the, the makeup and said, okay, it's cool, we're going to, you know, clean slate, let's start fresh. I hope it works out that way. I really do. Um, I am interested to see if the face to face was, oh shit, how you doing, buddy? And then a week or two or three goes by and everything's cool. And then all of a sudden back to boom, I hate you. You hate me. You do this. Your wife's ugly and you do this. You're a horrible parent. It's all going to start back up again. In my opinion, I don't know. I hope not, but only time will tell. Then I want to wrap this one up with, uh, good old camo Dave. Uh, I watched a little bit and it just amazes me that Dave was talking about Mr. Nomadic fanatic. Uh, Hey, you know, maybe I'll, uh, you know, you send me a free plane ticket and I'll fly out and I'll give your stuff, uh, you know, promote it on my YouTube channel and stuff for free, for free. This guy who got a plane ticket for free is sitting in a rented house for free is going to talk about somebody possibly doing something for free. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. The hypocrisy just kills me. All right, this is Blind Views. Thanks for watching, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.